Today we're going to talk about something really negative. But you Great. Know, <laughs> but you know what? Way to capture the audience. <laughs> but I think that anybody in any business can benefit from this. Hello everybody, my name is Barry Horvath and this is Moving Forward TV with your local market update. And I am Delenn Gaston, thank you so much for joining us today. So on today's show... We're going to talk about something really <laughs> negative, which I know you're so excited about. <laughs> it, it, we're, we were supposed to be putting a positive spin on negativity. <laughs> that's, that's really what we're going to try and do here. I know. No, but you know what? Mm -hmm. I got to tell you. But before we jump to negativity... <laughs> yeah, before we t talk about something really negative that can affect your business... Let's talk about some of the things that are going on. Some in the of the world. positive things the positive that are going things, on. The things, like number one, the government's back to work. Yay! Yay! You know what? A lot, a lot of people have been out of work from that big shutdown. That's I mean, good. how many days did it last? Do you do you know? Thirty-two. Was it thirty-two was it? days? I think something like that. Yeah, that's sad. So there's a lot of people. I heard like the national parks and I know everything were a mess, and now you know. You know, it was really sad when I saw in the news the um, a TSA workers from the airport were all in line at a food bank. You know, what? just trying to get food for their family. Really? Yeah, that was sad. So the TSA workers weren't getting paid, but they still had to work? Yeah. Really? Yep. I'm sure, is there going to be back pay for all this? What's the... I don't know. Oh, so back pay is there, said According the voice in my head. <laughs> According to our producer. <laughs> That's yes. Good. That's good. Yes. So that's somebody, good. Hey, at least somebody's paying attention so, to our show. So, <laughs> that's right. So in our world, that also means that um, we're back to IRS um, 4506s are getting processed again, which are required which on are every required loan, on mortgage loans, um, USDA loans are back and they're uh, operational. They're starting to underwrite those files again. However, we do want to note. Please give them time. Just like with your IRS tax return and everything, it is going to take the government a while to catch up on these things. So if you do have a USDA loan that, it, that you're working on right now, So you're saying the government is close, slow? Just in a while. <laughs> Government, just a little slow. All right. So, you know what? In this government shutdown, I have to caution people because, you know, there is a possibility it can happen again. This yeah, is considered they temporary. Are, yeah, they're talking about that. And with this creates a panic in the marketplace. You right. know, the stock market right now is really volatile. Mm -hmm. um, we're in for a rough ride this year, folks. Right. Uh, you know, it's just, just the way it is. And um, with volatility. And be prepared. Be, yeah. you know, be cognizant of what's, um, and be patient. <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> Please more, be with, patient. With, you know, the market changes, obviously the bond market is going to be, impacted by the stock market. And the bond market, for those of you who don't know, the bond market is what dictates mortgage rates. Yeah. So as the uh, bond market tanks, mortgage rates are gonna go up. Yep, and we haven't seen, um, you know, we, we just haven't seen any stability here lately. So right. look for, here, here's Same my, thing you were going to say about um, the stock market as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, right now, here's what I would say. If you are in the process of buying a house, you've identified a property, and you like the rate, and you like your payment, I would lock it in. Lock it. Lock it in, because it may not be there tomorrow. Don't right. gamble on that. Right. You know, that's your 30-year pricing, per se, right. unless you're going right. to refi. Mm -hmm. And we're not in a refinance environment right now, because rates are going up. Right. And they're going to probably continue to go up right now. So even though they ticked back down a little bit in the last um, you know couple of weeks here, with the volatility that Barry is mentioning, just don't even bother risking it because they 
move up so fast. Right. So from the time they, you know, they might be advertising a, you know, four and a half rate or something <clears throat> like that. Like by the, by the time the ink isn't even dry on what you're reading, and it could have changed already. They're, it's an extremely volatile market, and they go up a heck of a lot faster than they come down. It seems that way, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. And, and I'm positive. remember, <laughs> um, you know, I know a lot of the files we're working on, people are on the cuff of qualifying or not qualifying. Mm -hmm. So a quarter point, an eighth point can change your payment. Right. And all of a sudden, you don't qualify for that house right. that you were pre-qualified for right. based on, on that. So I, I would definitely keep that in mind. Um, another update in the market, I know USDA is back. USDA is back, yay. Um, but now uh, with the government on FHA, mm -hmm. we have, there's a no-score program out I there. I know. Again. We're How very excited that? about that. So we have uh, FHA has started doing uh, one of the things that we get a lot is people... Um, who have no score at all, um, and and most of the time it's either young uh, millennials just starting out and they don't have a score because they don't have any established credit, or elderly people who maybe haven't had credit in a really long time. They've just been, you know, from the they get in this uh, cash era mode. Of, yeah, I'm just paying cash. If I can't afford it, you know, if I don't have the cash for it, I'm not going to buy it. So they have no credit whatsoever. Well, for many years, those people have been, you know, it's been very tough to do loans because having no score is almost worse than having bad a bad credit score. So now FHA has come out with a program where they are allowing people who have no scores, um, whether it's one borrower or both borrowers, doesn't make a difference if it's no score they now have a program that they can do the loan under. Right, and it is, it is a manual underwrite, yep. which means you do have to have 12 months of on-time rental history, right. um, some kind of trade lines, right. could be a phone bill, uh, could be a Car utility bill, water bill. Something that they pay monthly, not something so, that's just once a year, right. something that they pay every month. Right, so that's a good thing though. So that's it's good to see good. FHA opening up, and um, FHA is about, 50% of the business out there right now are government loans, so, right. um, at least in this market. So. And the reason for that is because um, the FHA loans tend to be a little bit uh, more lenient, just in case you were wondering. They're a little bit more lenient than conventional, and some uh, conventional has a tendency to be a little stricter on certain things, require some reserves and stuff like that. Under different programs, there's definitely a lot of programs who don't require the reserves and such. They but allow more closing costs to be paid by seller, up right. to 6%. Right. And they allow higher debt ratios. That's right. the big thing. In a raising rate environment, you may need that. Right. right. You know, some people are like, well, I have 20% put down. Well, yeah, but you got a 55% debt ratio. So I know. conventional may not work for you. So it probably won't. Still but the FHA favorite, may be. The favorite program out there is mine anyway. It's still the VA program. Yeah, the VA, the VA is program awesome. is like the best program. But, they, not, but you know what? We should we're going to do a show on that one of these days. Yeah, just on VA loans. Just on VA loans because they're awesome. Yeah, they so. really are great. And I don't think, I'll, and I think they're misunderstood. <laughs> you think? <laughs> you think? The other thing that we wanted to talk about real quick that um, has changed recently is obviously loan limits. We've mentioned that loan limits have increased. So. Which is really nuts. <laughs> it's yeah. like, conventional is like four hundred and fifty-four thousand or something. The funny thing is, is I, and, and I've said this before. I can actually remember when the when anything over one eighty-eight was a jumbo. <laughs> So when you've been doing I'm loans so dating way myself. Too long. 188 was a jumbo. All right, so listen, listen, hold on to your thoughts because we got some really negative things to talk about <laughs> next. So. Um, we'll be back right after this.
Hi, my name is Joe Staltieri. I'm one of the owners of Complete Care Systems. At Complete Care Systems, we do carpet cleaning, upholstery cleaning, tile and grout cleaning, tile and grout sealing, wood floor and laminate floor deep cleaning, as well as stripping and waxing of linoleum and vinyl floors and a whole lot more. We also run daily deals and special, which you can find at completecaresystems.com or simply call Trisha up at 727-364. 5158 and she'll answer all your questions and give you over the phone free estimates or she'll send me out to your home or office to give you an on-site free estimate. At Complete Care Systems, we don't cut corners, we clean them. Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 U.S. Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Holox is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. All right, now that we've talked about all the updates in the mortgage world. <laughs> all the positive things. All the positive that's things. That's it. No. <laughs> no, that's it. That's it. Hey, we got a lot of positive things going on in the Actually, world. Actually, we do. You know what? It's... You know what? Every day is a blessing, so... Absolutely. A lot of good stuff. And, and there is a lot of things going on negatively in government, politically. Um, there's just a lot of... You, you, know, know. What, you know what's funny, though, what, what I'm amazed by is how many people are, like, addicted to negativity. They are. I know. They are. And... Remember you said, and, and I never forgot it, you said that you, um, on a something or another, that you were reading or a conference you went to or something that they said, if you want people to open your emails, put bad news. It is. It's true. People, <laughs> people want to read bad, bad news. news. Yeah. It's and, nuts. And the media thrives on bad news. That's horrible. And Because that's an attention getter. Like, you know, when you see tragedy, oh, I want to see that, you know, but when you see there's something happy and good going on that... You know, they save that, even when you watch the news, it's always that last feel-good segment. You ever notice that? But the beginning, they capture you and they draw you in with, with the negativity with the stuff. negativity. You know, we use constant contact a lot for our emails. Right. And if we put in the subject matter something negative, our open rate is way, way higher. Isn't that horrible? <laughs> yeah, when you think about it, yeah. Yeah, so, um, and, and the reason we're telling you this is we're going to talk about the impact of negative reviews because negative now customer reviews people go on how you can change those yeah pe and how how to properly deal with them you know people go online and they want to vent they want to be heard they yeah. had a bad experience right and all of a sudden they want to tell the world about it and your business can be a victim especially in real estate world mortgage world any business at all you know, any you business see it. I, mean, I know attorneys thrive on five-star reviews yeah. A, a, a lot of businesses do. And what we want to also encourage people is to leave a review. Please leave a review. Write something. For everyone. Uh, you know, uh, be, be that positive us. light yeah. amongst a lot of the negativity that's out there. So when somebody does something good, tell people about it. You know, I, I think that that's really important. And I'm just as much guilty of that. I just, I never seem to, I, I never think about doing sure. that. But when somebody does something, then, you know, we all should... You need to, here's the first thing, my first tip, no matter what, if you're in the real estate world or any business, um, ask your customer to post a review. A lot of restaurants, if yes. you notice, they'll put, uh, restaurants drive on Yelp. Yelp is their big yes. driving force. People go online, look at Yelp for reviews. Yep. You should ask your customers for a review. Um, and if you do receive a negative review, the first key, tip number one would be, respond promptly yes and don't you know, don't ignore it yeah do not ignore it and you um you know i would have alerts on on your google your google plus or whatever accounts that you're on mm -hmm. so that you know i've had people that had negative reviews and they didn't even know it on their company so they i know deal with it so so they, so some of the stuff that it, they bring up they say uh, promptly respond to negative reviews shows that the cus shows the customer that you care and that you value their opinion it may also be a catalyst that results in a person who had a bad experience with your business giving you a second chance <clears throat> so you can take those uh, negative reviews and address it immediately and uh, it, it the article talks about somebody who actually turned it around to um, 
where they were able to fix it to the point where the person then went and wrote an amazing review saying how he didn't really think that the owner of the company cared until he actually stepped in and made everything right for the person. And he would highly, highly, highly recommend this company again. Yeah, how about so, that? <laughs> yeah, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. There you right? go. And you know what? Um, the next thing I would say is, okay, that's great. They responded to it. But I would say, number two is, take it offline. You know, this is what happens. Yes. As soon as you read a negative review about your company or what you did, you're like, I worked so hard for them. I did this. And they did that. You know, you get into this tit for tat, me, 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 me situation. You know, take it offline. Pick up the phone. Call them. Right. Okay. But I think with that, and I know that that's what it says in here, take it offline. I think with that, what we need to do is we need to um, address it first, though. I'm so sorry you had this experience. I'm going to reach out and call you or please reach out and call me or something like that so that you're letting the people online know you're not just like leaving that negative review hanging right, out there. Right. People who right. are reading the reviews can see, okay, they addressed it and they're taking it offline. It, it means you're concerned and you care. Exactly. You know, that exactly. people want to know you care. And then you're right. And then don't get into the, the pissing match back and forth or whatever right. for people to see because that just, that just lowers your standards. Standards. You know, um, um, I have the, my beach rental right. up in Panama City, and when I first started, I got involved with Airbnb, mm -hmm. and I'm like, what is this Airbnb thing? It's all review driven. Everything they do, when you, they want you to review your guests, and they want your guests to review you, and they hound you asking for those reviews. And I tell people right up front on their check-in, my first time I contact them, I'm looking forward to making this a five-star experience for you. So they know that I care. Yes. And I want a good review from them. I've yes. planted that seed early and often. You should do the same thing in real estate. Hey, when we're, you know, I'm going to walk you through this transaction. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be the best agent in the world for you. But, you know, when we're done, do me a favor. I need you to let other people know about it. I'm going right. to send you a survey. Not after you close. The time to do it is plan it early and ask for plant that review. Plant the seed early up front. And then at closing again, ask for that review at the table. Hey, remember that review we talked about? Can we take a minute? Can we get it done right now? Yeah. Zillow reviews are a big one, too. People look for that. Now, in real, you realtors, absolutely, Zillow, if you're not already getting reviews on Zillow, you need to. So learn how it's done. Get with a social media person. Get with somebody online who can help you because that's really important because that's where people, and I don't know about you, but I, I think most people, you know, when you are looking to make a big purchase or go to a hotel or go to a restaurant or whatever, one of the first things we all do is we read the reviews, right? Absolutely. <laughs> that's like the first step we do is we go. And, and, and you know what's those. so funny? And people say, well, I'm in this networking group. It doesn't matter. So let's just say they refer to Lynn Gaston of the mortgage firm. I promise you, and I see it all the time, um, people even that are referred to me directly say, hey, I went online. Uh, So-and-so referred me to you. And the first thing they do is go online and read about you. Yes. So they're going to do it. So make sure it's, it's and if there. You and, and you should encourage them to do so. In fact, I have on my email, read my reviews. I'm proud of my reviews. So yes. encourage them. So if you have it set up there, to, you know, bring, show them a link when on your emails or something so that people don't have to go hunting for your reviews. They click on that link and it brings them right to a whole bunch of people who said great things about you. Yes, I like that. I like that. All right, we got some more tips on how to fix these negative reviews when they do come in right after this. We'll be right back. This is one bee that loves going to the dentist. Uh, yeah, I love to Dr. B. It's a very cool place. At Dr. B Pediatric Dentistry, we understand the individuality of each child and offer an exceptional and gentle dental care experience for all children. With our laser procedures, we are able to provide gentler treatments and faster healing time. Call us now to make an appointment. Call Dr. B's Pediatric Dentistry today. Hi, my name is Joe Staltieri. I'm one of the owners of Complete Care Systems. At Complete Care Systems, we do carpet cleaning, upholstery cleaning, tile and grout cleaning, tile and grout sealing, wood floor and laminate floor deep cleaning, as well as stripping and waxing of linoleum and vinyl floors and a whole lot more. We also run daily deals and special, which you can find at CompleteCareSystems.com or simply call Trisha up at 727 364 
5158 and she'll answer all your questions and give you over the phone free estimates. Or she'll send me out to your home or office to give you an on-site free estimate. At Complete Care Systems, we don't cut corners, we clean them. Okay, we're back talking about negative things. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking about turning negative things into positive things. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> You're just stopping at the negative things I part. And I wait because for him to go on. Now, keep going with the positive you know side why? of it. Because it makes him want to watch us. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> true story. True story. All right, so let, we're talking about negative reviews and the and impact. And turning them around. And, and how to fix them and how right. to make them better. So um, the next thing I would say is if you do get a negative review, when you reach out to that person, be polite. I know you're going to be feel angry in your I heart because maybe you worked hard, maybe you went over above, beyond, and they just weren't one of those people that'd be happy. You need to be polite and professional. It's so important to do that. I can't express that enough. So Which, handle it with care. Absolutely. Because that one person can do more damage to you because people love to talk about negative things again. Which goes right along with the next one, mm -hmm. which is take negative reviews seriously. Don't yes. make fun or joke about it or think, oh, that person's just a wackadoodle. Um, you know, you gotta take it seriously. Yes. Someone out there is miffed about you and you know you did the best job you could and they have no right, no grounds to be miffed. So address it. I like that. Yeah. I like that. All right. Okay. Uh, can I can I tell you, share an experience? Um, yeah. So um, you know it's really hard on these sites to get a negative review removed. A lot of that them is the next thing it says get it removed. <laughs> yeah, won't a lot of the sites like Google, for example, you just can't go in even if it's a bogus review. You can't get it removed. You have to find the source. Um, we had a review one and time. And only the reviewer can can yes. get it removed. Yeah. Okay. And you have to fight through the site. I mean, there's probably ways to get it done, but it could take forever. You got to get back to the source. And most people aren't going to post bogus reviews. They could, but it's not likely. And you're going to find out who they are. Um, we had a negative review um, with Dynamic Title one time, and I found the name, and I went online, searched them out, and I found them on LinkedIn. LinkedIn found a phone number. I called them every single day for six months. I would leave a message. I wouldn't leave a message. I kept calling and calling and calling, and finally they answered. And, and you were able to I was turn able it around. to defuse the situation. It wasn't a legitimate complaint, but nonetheless, somebody told him to do it. So, so six I got it months. Removed. I got it removed. Good. Um, but it took thankfully. six months to do it. Yeah, See, but we so had a keep one going. Star keep review. trying. And you know what? Sometimes they say the kiss of death is a four-star review. I was just going to get to that one next. Yeah, isn't that funny how that... <laughs> I'm, I was very surprised. So they said, yeah, so when you are reviewing, sometimes a four-star review actually hurts more than helps. Um, they said uh, this one has, happens to be about a photo safari. A sightseeing tour company in New Orleans said that getting a four-star review on TripAdvisor can result in lower rankings. Four-star ratings hurt more than not writing a review at all. One four-star review drove my ranking down from fourth to seventh in a competitive market like New Orleans. That was harsh. That was, uh, that surprised me. I did have somebody once who gave me a four and I really was upset about it. Yeah. Might as well get a two. <laughs> all, these, all these great things they said about me. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And, and our team. And then, and then I think it was something to the effect of, you know, because sometimes I, I write very fast and I'll type an email or whatever and I, and I, write like I speak. And sometimes the whole text talking and text mm -hmm. typing and stuff like that creeps into your emails and everything. So she had put something like that, my, um, my grammar. <laughs> because <laughs> You got a four because I abbreviated you things and so yes, that's what so it was. That's all it was. Instead of Y O U, but, you know, yes, I K R instead of I know, right? Oh, great. Well, whatever it was, lesson but I thought learned. That was, Don't do I that, that anymore. Was funny. But I, everything was raving about my service and my, you know, attention to detail. And that's so funny. that kind of brings us to the next one. So um, see the good in every bad review. You know, sometimes um, a bad review. Can you know? Sometimes we get so busy and we think we're doing everything perfectly and right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can take a bad review and see the good in it by fixing or addressing or opening up something you never knew right. existed as a challenge. Positive feedback, which yeah. is what it's supposed to be doing. Positive feedback. And the other thing is, is a lot of people think that you're 
you're faking those. You're having your employees, your family, your cousins, and everybody write those really good reviews. So they think they're manufactured by, you know, whoever they're, so they think they're fake. So it's good to have some positive feedback. <laughs> yeah, four stars that say you don't use grammar properly. <laughs> reviews. <laughs> Gotta love those. Um, but anyway, but they do say that too. So, you know, no, you I mean, can't just I, have all five stars. But no, it's an opportunity opportunity think. to fix it. And, yeah. and then the next thing is, you know, when you do get reviews, I think at your weekly meetings or your get togethers or whatever, or via email, share them with your employees. Share those reviews so they know they, what's going right. on. Right. They yeah. need the kudos and they need to, you they know, need they the need to brush up on things too. Yeah, right. it's a good thing. So it's positive stuff. No, this is a good thing. We See, this was positive stuff. Absolutely. Positive, positive. This was not We're a negative always positive. show. This was positive hey, stuff. I just wanted them to think it was going to be negative so they'd watch <laughs> it, okay? <laughs> all right. So, all right, let's 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 talk about what's going on in the community. Anything new going on, Dylan? Um, actually, there's a couple of things that are coming up. Hang okay, on, good. let me find my notes. because I'm going to leave now. I gotta go. <laughs> all right, so first off... <laughs> I don't need notes to... To all of our real estate uh, professionals that are out there, we do monthly, every single month, it is the second Tuesday of every month, we do a Lunch and Learn, which is at no cost to you, and we will feed you. It's at Carabas. <laughs> <laughs> Carabas, need yes. I say more? Carabas on uh, US uh, Highway 19 in Port Ritchie. Love Anyone it. is welcome. If you are a realtor, just give us a um, give me an email that um, lets me know, just so we can kind of have a rough head count. Our next one, it is the second Tuesday of every month at eleven thirty. Our next one is February twelfth. Twelfth. Yep. And it's our a Tuesday, eleven thirty. And our guest speaker um, this month is County uh, Commissioner County Mike Commissioner Wells. Mike Wells. So yeah. he's going to be talking about all kinds of cool stuff going yeah. on in the county. Yeah, right? he will. He will be. He'll he's probably, awesome. He'll give. Um, he's a he's a great presenter. He'll give, um, you know, real estate development, what's going on here in the county. and um, That should be very some good. Some cool things very going on. Very interesting. Oh, yeah. So you're we'll going to want to see that one. Track. So Definitely. just shoot me an email and let me know if you're going to want to come. You're not going to want to see it. You're going to want to come to it. Yes. <laughs> She's going to want to see I'm it. I'm so used to talking movies and stuff, right? <laughs> <laughs> movies and shows. Because yeah, we're movie stars. <laughs> yeah. We're superstars. Okay, when we got... We got the lightning bus trip. Don't know if there's Yay. any seats left. Might be um, through um, our charity, West Pasco Business Association. Um, you can go on WPBA dot biz. dot biz to see if there's any tickets left, and that is on February 14th. Door dot rock. So um, there may be one or two. I'm not sure if any. Couple seats or left, I think. Yeah. So um, check it out. But anyway. Like our show, share it. Don't know how you got it, but email it, forward it out. We're on all the social media platforms, and we appreciate you guys watching. We our appreciate show. We you really guys do. watching. We are today and every day moving forward. We'll see everybody next week. Have a great week. Bye bye.